Hello, everyone. And welcome to Tuesday. A wonderful, beautiful Thursday. <laughs> welcome to How this Thursday named we? Tuesday. How is everyone? <laughs> it's a day of the week that ends in a while. Yeah, I mean, I guess they both apply because we actually are filming this on Tuesday for Thursday. So, welcome. Very true. welcome. So I'll just say that's what I meant. <laughs> yes. Sure. We're actually filming this on the 4th of July. And I know we forgot to say it in the thrift with us because we were filming that also ahead of time. But I hope everyone had a good 4th. Yeah. That's the day we're filming. It's raining here. So, I hope we got to go to our yeah. fireworks it's about later to tonight. It's about to storm pretty rough here. So, we, crossed, it stays in the morning. we might have Wednesday fireworks. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Yet. But I hope everyone's had a good week so far. And I hope you guys enjoyed the thrift with us that did go up on the 4th. If you did watch it, maybe you guys watched it yesterday because you were out watching some fireworks or something on the 4th. Yes. But today we have a bins haul from said thrift with us. And this was oh, so quite a good bins haul. If you remember, we went into the bins not really with any specific goals in mind. Mm -mm. We weren't really looking for summer, but we weren't really looking for fall. It was just kind of like whatever we get handed, Yeah, we'll take it. I think I said specifically, universe, give me a wild card. Yeah. And that's kind of exactly what I got, which... I think I'm gonna start saying that every single time I go to the bins is give me a wild card, cause it's fun. I would say that we got quite a random like variety of stuff mm -hmm. seasonally, like season wise, it's quite random and miscellaneous. Honestly, for the most part, I think I did get more kind of like fall type stuff, which mm -hmm. I'm not mad about. It's just no. that time of year, where it doesn't really matter no. whether you get summer or fall because either have their perks and their downsides. We're kind currently. of in that weird in between seasons yet because it's summer's and, not quite over, but it's also not quite back to school. Yeah, people definitely God. aren't specifically <laughs> shopping for fall yet, but also people are starting to be done shopping for summer. So it kind of doesn't yeah. matter what you pick up. Both will do okay right now, but neither mm -hmm. are like stand out. Great. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Tuesday video. Also, Friday, we do have a second channel video going up. Ryan is in it, though it is a mainly me video. I can't wait. We are kicking off this season of every single week having a video on the second channel. So I'm not going to talk about it too much on this channel yet because it's probably way too early for you guys. But <laughs> the second channel people get in it. In this household, <laughs> Halloween <laughs> starts in July. The, the, so. the second channel people know what I'm talking about. So yep. the second channel is starting to have videos every single week. So if you're interested in that, you can hop over there. If not, totally fine. We are still going to be posting three times a week over here anyways. Oh, nothing's changing. Yes. We don't know yet what we're going to do next week no. on this channel. No so idea. So if you guys have any ideas or anything you specifically want to see please let us know we do still have our list of fun new funky ideas some of the ones involving debbie we won't be able to do next week because debbie's actually going away for the entire weekend she's taking a girl's we weekend. were really hoping to do the turning debbie into a girly video but that's gonna have to maybe be like the next week or something just because we won't have the weekend to do that with debbie but otherwise we do have some ideas. We don't know what we're gonna use yet. We don't know what we're gonna do next week. So mm -hmm. if there's anything specific you guys wanna see, totally let us know. Yeah. Cause it's kind of like an open If you wanna see another bins haul, just say so. Yes. And I'd be happy <laughs> we to are doing the bins bed. next week, yes. But anyways, I suppose we should jump into it. We both got shoes. Yes, we, we did. We both got bags. Thankfully. We both got bags. Bags and shoes and accessories. Yeah, so, so we got some fun stuff to show you, including <laughs> some luxury brands. I got some fun stuff, man. It was. Yeah. A smorgasbord and I was thank you. I yeah. hadn't been in the bins in like a month. I know. So this was yeah. a very like nice, here's a little smattering of everything. Welcome yes. back. So we're gonna jump into it starting with bags and shoes and I will say before I start I did find a pair of Chanel heels, but I don't think they're real. They're I was really excited. I even took an Instagram picture because they're good <laughs> face. They are really good face. Good face. I'll give them that. But see, even I don't just like go with my initial gut. I did a ton of research on them mm -hmm. and I really don't think that they're real. So I'm just going to end up having to... I don't know, do something with them. We'll re-donate them and Goodwill will yeah, with them with their will. I don't know. You know? Um, but <laughs> I had even taken an Instagram picture. I was so excited to do this thumbnail of, I mean, you guys saw what I got. So I found a Gucci piece and I found a Burberry piece. Mm -hmm. So I was going to title this and make the thumbnail Chanel, Burberry, and Gucci. Oh my. <laughs> Lions, tigers, and bears. But the Chanel's are fake, so I can't. <laughs> That's okay. Stupid. 
fake. They will live with our fictional boy uh, like we have in our storage unit. Yeah. We'll just have this small collection kind of, of fake Chanel. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't complain. I literally found a Loewe like, No, we're not going to say anything. I'm not that we mad. We are not going to say a also, word. Also, we found some really good other stuff. So I'm not mad. It's just kind of like, dang, I can't use that idea. The cake just doesn't have any cherries on it anymore. Yeah. You know, but like, a cake is a cake. Yeah. Sure. You never. I don't know what that's saying. Was. Cherry on top. I don't know what that cliche was. Debbie would say, "I can't do cliches." I can't do cliches. <laughs> <laughs> so my first find is not Chanel, but it's a different C brand, and it's Coach. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and this is one of those little Coach, like I don't know, like 2010s Very crossbody bags. The ones where everyone thinks they're fake because they have no creed in them. But guys, they're not fake. That's how these came, as you can see by this hang tag. And this is the authentic Coach, like made in China, little brown. Tab. Tag. But a lot of, not you guys, but like a lot of shoppers will think that these mm -hmm. are not real, but these are 100% real. These coach crossbodies just don't have a creed. They also no. don't even have a monogrammed interior. This One is way just what Coach did back you then. You can tell. Is check the hardware. If there's an end to it, then it's fake. Yes. Coach never has any ends to Yeah, but I mean, the stitching is great on these, and these yeah. are totally real. The leather's actually really nice. This the is when Coach was nice. still using some kind of, like, slightly nice leather. This is, I think, when they stopped with the, like, really tacky monogram, and they were like, let's maybe let's use, like, some okay just leather. A little bit. This tote caught I my attention this. because it's just so cute, and I could tell it was really nice quality. It's like a thick canvas and mm -hmm. I could tell that these were leather handles to it so I had picked this up during a shoe rotation as we've said recently shoe rotations you just gotta move you just go you can't quick. look at stuff too much you need to throw it in your cart and keep moving and that's what I did with mm -hmm. this I was like I don't know it seems nice let's go keep digging for shoes you can always throw stuff back yeah it's so hard exactly. to go get something out of somebody's exactly. cart exactly <laughs> so then later I was like re-looking at it and the RN on this little tag is 66170 and then it had the like this was imported by Urban Outfitters tag and I was like oh my gosh an urban tote like cute I will take that yeah. I do like to sell urban bags a lot or mm -hmm. if it ended up being free people or something it did have this clutch on the inside so of course later when inspecting I looked in and actually it's an anthropology tote with the little clutch still the intact. Pouch. This has probably only so been cute. used like at the most like three times. This is it in doesn't look such kind of used at all. Good shape. It's this is so cute. A great fall bag. Oh as yeah. Well, it's or adorable. summer because it's floral, but mm -hmm. it's like fall colors. So Love I'm it. really really pumped to find that. That was a yeah great find. Super cute. I did find a fair amount of bags, which is nice because I like the bags. Okay, so first up, this one has already been a spoken for. I will say, before I show you anything, everything is listed on Poshmark. I think basically all mine is too. Which I literally cannot even remember the last time that I've been able to say in a haul, like, all of this is listed. So yeah. if you want anything, go send me an offer, go do whatever. Friends and family discount. Keep that in mind. <laughs> um, this sold on Depop. These always do so good on Depop. So if you see these at Goodwill and they're like a dollar, or if you see them in the bins, like I always do, pick them up. These Vogue little like book totes. And I always get the ones that either have like the Architectural Digest, like the big AD logo. That one always does really Wall good. Wall Street Journal. Wall Street Journal. Any of those like New York newspaper, Times. New York Times, the Artist Collab, New York Times. Tote bags always do really good. This one sold for 18 bucks. And it's just a dirty little tote bag. I think a lot of art students use them. I can vouch for that. I had a tote bag. When I was an art student, when I was in college, I had my little like, There's something tote about bag. It was a Madewell tote bag and it was two hands and a yin yang and it said, there's, okay, okay. There's something about wearing a cardigan with a maxi skirt with some Doc Martens and carrying that tote into a museum. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks because that was me and all my friends when I was in college. Now that I'm being flamed, Jack found this for me. Speaking of flame, this wonderful little orange bag. These are this leather. This flame-colored Harley Davidson. Cheeto-colored like. orange bag. Um, I just love how, like, she's a lot. There's a lot going on. Floppy, it gives me very um, Simone Miller, who I thought was a woman, and I can confirm is because it's Simon. A Miller. wonderful couple. It's Simon, Simon Miller, not Simone Miller. Potato, yeah. potato. Um, it's very them right now. Like, all those little girls in wherever they're taking pictures in their cute little That's things. another good fall or summer. The yes, beads it is. give me, like, summer. beach. The orange gives me the fall. orange, because I think Givenchy, somebody, somebody, I think it's Givenchy or YSL made, and Orgen. it was these, like, polka dot 
um, flappy, floppy, little doodads. Flippity, floppity, that wouldn't surprise me if this was some old YSL dupe from <laughs> 20 years ago. Yeah. This I really liked. I did find a couple of Dooney pieces this trip. Really adorable little black micro bag. These always do so good. It does have the little Dooney thing on the zipper. The only issue with this one is that the inside, I always reuse my packaging. The inside zipper doesn't work anymore. Which is fine, because you can still like, it's a functional pocket, it just doesn't zip. I was waiting for you to be like, the only issue is the entire inside is completely ripped out, stained, and destroyed. But I mean, besides that, like, it's it fine. It can hold something. Besides that. It's just <laughs> really awful. No, the other than that, the inside is wonderful. Couple of pen marks, no big deal. The other, I guess you could call this a bag. Super cute little wine bottle holder. And I Google imaged, reversed, searched this, and a couple people had them as anthropology, and I can 100% believe it. This little, like, tag gives me Vero, Vero? Very the anthro home section, this little, like, hedgehog, pin cushion looking little thing. And it's cute. And I gave it to Ryan, yeah. I shouldn't have if it's anthro. <laughs> It's a little um, wine bottle. Yeah. Cozy, but I look like an Adventure Time character. Well, anyway. Grab your friends, go to very, very distant Okay, I have one more bag. This is the other vintage Dooney I found. I liked this one because of the color. The color. The color. The color. It's this the nice, color. like, gray. Ivory. It does have some marks on it. I believe this is called Bone, if I'm not mistaken, mm. from the Dooney website. And it was interesting because I hadn't seen one with this kind of little, like, handily thing on it. Apparently, this bag is from, like, 19. 82, which is wonderful. And everything I find is just old, which I love. But this is before they started doing the Dooney and Burke like serial number on the back. And it's, the plaque is a little bit different. The duck or the goose is a little funky. And it says all weather leather instead of like Dooney and Burke established, whatever the year is. And this is different. It's like the monogram. DB. Yeah. And it's backwards for some reason. They said that the backwardsness has something to do with it. And I was like, okay, that's And great. usually like with vintage coach, it says solid brass on the like buckles. Yes. And that's a sign that it's usually quite old. Too. She's a very old little moment. I think I threw it up for 50 bucks because I know the ones in better condition can do kind of better. But the only issue with this one is unfortunately the little leather panel behind like the brass hardware has started to kind of like come unglued. So you could obviously glue that down, but like... That's a cobbler's job, you know? That's not mine, so. That is not my that job. That is not my job. That is not my job. Yeah, that was the catchphrase. <laughs> that is not my job. You don't do it right. <laughs> to quote the lovely Miss Denise Hemsfield. Helen, that's not Denise Hemsfield. Oh, that is Helen. No, it's Helen. Helen from Drake and Josh. <laughs> that is not my job. <laughs> um, uh, conspiracy theories. You know how we all know that all of the technology in the world is listening to us and like pushes things? Like you like say Are we gonna Cheetos. Are going to get a Josh ad You now? say Cheetos and like Facebook's like, want to buy some Cheetos? We were hanging out with Ryan's family talking about Drake and Josh. Yes, the, we were. The amazing Nickelodeon Y2K show. Was, like, I was almost going to say cartoon. And that was like life actors. And Josh Pack. Talking about it. No searching, no Googling of anything. We were literally in their hotel in the swimming area. I don't even think, I don't know, like, I think maybe one of us had our phones. No Googling. We didn't need to Google anything. We're just talking about the funniest episodes. We went home, we turned on the TV, and we have like a smart TV. Mm -hmm. And it was like, watch Drake and Josh on Paramount Plus. Was the first suggestion, and they we've listened. never like rewatched it. I want to now. Yeah, we, literally, they got we've to never me now. It rewatched. Works. I know. I mean, it's like they're right, but also, <laughs> but it was weird. It was funny. None of us googled really anything. Weird. We weren't even in the room with the TV. We weren't even in the house. We were in a hotel with maybe, maybe but my also, phone. Also, like there, the thought yours. that even if I did have my phone that's somehow connected to my TV, like I've never plugged this my phone weird. into the TV. I've never it's logged weird. into the TV. Weird. I don't understand it, Weird. but... Okay, so enough. Let's take the tin hats off. <laughs> I was gonna say, everybody let's, take your tin let's hat put, off let's now. Let's put the Calvin Klein backwards hats back on. Let's put our glasses back and on. And let, let's talk about shoes. 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 Let's get some shoes. Now YouTube's gonna be like, do you wanna watch the shoes video? Do you remember Kelly from Shoes? This yeah. is where she's at now. Okay, so my first pair of shoes, I've been like internally debating on if I'm gonna real release or sell these myself, and I still have not made up my mind. And I feel like the logic, like the logical answer would be to sell them myself, but the real real seller in me is like, no. Get rid of them. These are Stuart Weitzman, and these oh, are really, nice. really nice Stuart Weitzman. The reason that I feel like I want to send them in is because they are quite an old Stuart Weitzman label on the inside, but they're super good shape. 
they're a never go out of style style. They're mm -hmm. like super timeless style, beautiful suede combat boots. They and they have the like true. Stuart Weitzman in the lugging on the bottom, which I love. <laughs> and this leather this suede is super freaking good. amazing. So I don't know. Still have not made up my mind. I, I didn't take like, pictures of them. That gives me very Debbie energy. Yeah, I know. I was like, are these a size seven? <laughs> then seven. some super nice. So my shoe finds were very fall, which I'm not very mm -hmm. mad about. These are some really, really nice leather combat boots as well. Fully laced up. These have been worn maybe once or twice. Yeah, they look new. And these are actually by And Other Stories. Which oh, nice. surprised me. I didn't even know that they made shoes. Let alone shoes this nice. Mm -hmm. So these are a size 39 or a 9 or 8 and a half. And again, I don't think I'm going to be able to show you the label on like any of these because the lighting's just not good enough to go into the boot with the camera. Is the shoe label the same as the one in the clothes? It is. You can kind of see this probably. Oh, it's, it's like, literally just it's like a It's the tag. exact same label. But these are such nice leather like these are really yeah, these are super cute these were another one where i like grabbed it and just threw it in my cart just because i knew they seemed so nice well they have to be something and you know? they were in other stories I'll yeah like it. these are really cute i feel like this is what all the girlies that wear those like prairie dresses are in new york city wear. oh yeah the dough and girlies yeah so <laughs> these are some really nice chelsea clog comfort boots and these does anybody want some? Does anybody want some dance goes? Dance goes. These are also a size 39 or 9 or 8 and a half. And these are in quite good shape. They obviously are more worn than the mm -hmm. other shoes I've showed. Just like the paint on the bottom clog part is kind of coming off. But otherwise, like they haven't worn down too much or anything. Because this mm -hmm. is just foam. So this would wear quick. And it's not that worn down, just a little on the heels. And yeah, these like are nice. these are $180. They're called the Becca by Dance Go. I don't often pick up Dance Goes anymore. But these are really cute. Like boots, I I like that. I think I'd get the funky like pattern. Yes, I do too. As long like, as they're in like or the funky condition. material, like tweed or something That's like it. that. Oh, there's like a knit one that does really good. Yeah, it's like a yarn. These, these are I horrible. love. So these are really these are fun nice. pointed toe riding boots. I just love how pointed these toes are. These it are just cute. looks so like. Cool. These are very like the modern interpretation of the riding boot. Yes. You know? Full back zipper with a really big chunky zipper to them too. And these are actually by Dolce Vita. And these are in really great shape as well. Like mm -hmm. hardly worn. Definitely under five times I'd say. And these I think are also a nine. Yep. These are also a nine. So I don't know if all these were the same girls. They but she been. had good taste. She did so. have really good taste. And yes. this is like, a, for a Dolce Vita, like a mall brand, that's a nice little boot. And last, the best of all, and oh these are Lord. definitely not a size nine. I'll tell you why in a second. But these, they're called the Trashville boots, yeah. which I love. Trashville. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Cue the like kiss music. <laughs> ah, what? Oh, that's a different band. Yeah, no, that's them. Wanna Morocco. rock it all Is night? It? Okay, I think good. that was their, that like, was taking a disco song. song. No, that was like them trying to be dance, and I'm like, Oof. really? These are some beautiful punk, goth, cyberpunk, all the keywords, yes. emo, boots, Halloween core, punk core, all that stuff. And these are by, I cannot show you the label because it's deep in the bottom and I have these stuffed right now. These are by Demonia. And I know we've talked about Demonia Such maybe with like the Halloween bolos. I think we year. did. I think it was like a if Halloween If not, it was part of the fall boot bolos last year. We did something where we yes. talked about them. Anyways. Some video at some point in time. These are Demonia's really like top of the line name mm -hmm. brand goth shoes yes. and i have i still haven't looked up comps on these but the reason i know they're not a nine is because i was able to try these on and they fit and no i'm not going to keep them and jack is they'd size be, 13. they'd be great for like a Frankenstein. Oh, if you were gonna Halloween go with like costume, Herman Munster, these would be you came down great. in your Herman Munster shoes. <laughs> so, <laughs> <It's> these. <laughs> so these, these might be like a men's twelve, and yes, they probably are men's because yeah. I, I doubt they're like a women's fifteen. Demonia, I think, makes like men's and women's version of like most of their shoes. They do because it's like loafers, offer a creepers, lot of like boots. size inclusivity yes. with their shoes, which is wonderful. So these are probably like a men's twelve but these will still do good men's or women's. Honestly, yeah. they might even do better as men's. I recently yes. had sold like a trip men's jacket for like 225. So like the men's emo punk. Men out there. And yes, I do have both, but men's. <laughs> Can you imagine? I have one. Men's punk does like just as good as women's. It I does love, so good. love to sell like punk. 
and yes. like emo stuff and goth. Okay, so first up for me for a little pair of shoes, thinking a little ahead to the winter time, but I got these because they are really nice and really new. This is a pair of Nike. I believe these are called the Tangent Boot, if I'm not mistaken. They really don't have hardly any wear to them, just a couple of little pebbles. And for being white. In the sole, I know. I was like, these are these are nice. Um, it is really like warm on the inside. It's fleece lined. These are a seven and a half. And where's the little, and then they have the little swooshy on the, we're here. <laughs> I just thought those were nice on the little show. I also found a pair of demonias. Not as nice and not as um, expensive, but, but no, any demonia is great. So find. we'll chit chat about these. You can actually see the label in these, and you can also see how worn they are. So I got these because I was going to rescue them, and I know for a fact that there was some little girly somewhere who was like. I need a new pair of these. These are the Sprite 2 Demonia little like creeper. These are definitely newer style. As you can see, they have seen their fair share of wear, but I threw them up on Depop for 25 bucks and they sold in like two days, plus shipping. So, and then she paid me extra to get them shipped to her faster, which is wonderful. They still sell. You, you know, probably, it's an easy pickup. You probably like, still could have got more. It's just like Demonia, not sold in many places, probably just like mm -mm. Dolls Kill and Demonia's website. Oh, yeah. Their styles are very limited, like quantities created. They don't make a ton of each of them. It's still like a small large And they're really expensive. Situation. They are really expensive. So like if I can sell them to somebody in like kind of a beat up condition for 25 bucks, but they still get the name brand, like sure. Yeah. Awesome. Good for you. Okay, this is my next pair of shoes. I freaking love these. I think these are so fun. It's this little pair of Y2K. This is also a five inch heel. Like she's tall. No. Gucci. No, I can't tell what the brand is. I can't read it. No. It ends Something in like, like Sabrina. It ends in like A-R-I-N-A. -I, I have literally no idea, but I love this like chain detail that goes all the way around and how they like carved the wood around each of the chain pieces. I think these are kind of cute. And I did just sell a pair of this like inverted style heel. You'll see that on What's Old Saturday. Yes, you absolutely will. We just will. talked about them last What's Old Saturday and we said they're probably coming up soon. Sure enough, like the next day they sold. Yes, these are a size eight. So these probably came from the Ann Other Stories girly. If Whoa. you hear any thunder, She's thundering. the 4th of July Mother Nature's fireworks will be starting here soon. She says rain, which is nice. Thank you. Okay, and I think I only got those three pairs of shoes but I did have another bag floating around in here. This one I got specifically for the Depop girlies and those little college, college, well, college, cottage, fairy, gremlin, sitting under a tree, people. <laughs> the mossy woman laying yeah, under a tree Yeah, the mossy woman laying under a tree. She can have a mushroom bag now. Um, It's really cute and it's actually really well made. This is probably from like World Market or like some little local trade show, it's something cute. like that. It's 100% cotton, but the mushrooms I think are adorable and I like that they're a little different. Mm -hmm. Super cute. And the Depop girlies, they do love a mushroom. They love yes. a mushroom and they love a strawberry. All right, so we're going to jump into the clothes and we're going to move fast. We really got we, to talk here. We always take so long in the dang shoes and bags that then we have to like rapid Oops. fire the clothing. First up is my Gucci find. So this is a Gucci tie with anchors on it. I actually saw this label and I was like, uh oh, is it real? But sure enough, it is real. That's just a quite old Gucci label. But the whole lining is like that Gucci embossed kind of like stitched in logo and mm -hmm. the logo at the front right there. So I will take a Gucci scarf at the bins any day. Absolutely. Then we got an Aretha Athleta piece. Oh. And this is an Athleta size large, and this is quite a new Athleta piece, so new that they actually put the style name in it instead of the style number. But Thank this the Lord. is from 2021. So this is the Cocoon Wrap. This is cute. This is really, really nice, and it's in really great shape. It doesn't have that signature Athleta peeling that it gets after like one wash. So the I was- world is changing. I was quite excited to find that, of course. Then we have a men's piece, and I don't mm. often pick up this brand for myself to sell, this but this is a North Face Thermo Ball something or another. Thermo Ball jacket. These are popular. I, people wear the crap. This is like, okay, I recently decided that black is my favorite color. All of a sudden I was like, duh, Jack, black's your favorite color. <laughs> this blue is like my second favorite color. This blue is just like stunning. Like an electric I blue. I love flower. I love that color of blue. Cerulean. So that's a men's large. And this actually can fit in an inventory bag. So that's also why I was not mad about picking that up. I, I love those thermo ball jackets because they do fit in inventory bags. <laughs> this is just an American Eagle that I'm going to give a shot. Cute. Good for like fall. Or you can just buy it and put it on like a scarecrow decoration. Yeah. <laughs> put a little ketchup it's on a, it, a little red paint, call it a bloody farmer's t-shirt. It's a size medium and it's from the end of 2021. 
Ooh, that was a Whoa. big one. Boom, no bang. fireworks tonight. Then we have another I next seasonally appropriate piece. The candle. This is a tacky like Halloween t-shirt, of course. It's I like a, that you're in the jack-o'-lantern. It's a either <laughs> unisex size extra large or it's a men's extra large. But like I said, I think in the voiceover of the Thrift With Us, though these are probably just like from Walmart or something, they still sell for me mm -hmm. because people just like to get Halloween t-shirts. And I think the vintage ones do good too. Some people just like to get Halloween t-shirts. Just like to wear Halloween t-shirts. When we were shopping, so quick side note. <laughs> I think this is the this last- This is just gonna be a long video. Yeah, we'll last, just say that. The last time I went with my cousin, when it was just me and her, we were like looking at the things and the stuff and the miscellaneous and hard goods and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And she picked up something like pumpkin or something. And she's like, well, I mean, some people just really like Halloween. Not like, not as a joke. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, some people do. And then she's like, oh yeah, you're you. <laughs> was like, she's like, oh yeah. She was like, you oh had yeah. your little collection. She was like, you're one of those people. That's funny. Okay, okay. and then one more American Eagle piece. This Oop. is a size large. Oh, this, this is, is actually a, a really new American Eagle logo. This is also from 2021. Oh, nice. And the American Eagle flannels, actually, like those ultra soft and super soft ones or whatever, oh like God. those are a staple. People the grip those. those have on the Midwest is unending. And if they, they will, people will always wear those American Eagle If flannels. I can't sell these, like Play-Dohs instantly. Oh, they they love Instantly, them. we'll take them. Okay, so there's a small story to be had with this lovely little bikini top. Though she looks unassuming, this is actually by the brand Kini. She's there's, small, but she's strong. She's small, but she's mighty. There's no tag, but if you were to find a tag, it would be under the left. It'd be like right here in this vicinity. But I Google image searched this, and these are actually like $130 a piece, wow. which is not surprising. I told you to get that. I know. I was just going to say, Jack did tell me to get this because I was like, it's probably going to be Target. It's not Target. So the one time that it's actually not a Target piece, she pays it's off. It's too well made. It is really. Yeah, it's too well made. Well, And like, this is really nice. Like the crochet is super- That a long time to make. They are handmade. So each of them is a little different, which I think is wonderful. Um, But if you find these, Google them because they're super cute. Okay, and I would say that's like medium, somewhere in there. Medium or large even. Yes. Yeah. This is a new brand to me, but it's still quite nice. And I just don't want this to get covered in like dog hair. It is Monsoon. Monsoon season. Right. Monsoon season. Um, and it's this really adorable navy blue open front, like I almost said linen, cotton cardigan with this really beautifully well done like floral, I almost said lace. Gosh, can you tell that I haven't done one of these in forever? All my words are just like, oh, gone. But it's really adorable. And I was kind of excited to find some sweaters. I just did inventory, like the big clear out everything inventory. And I got rid of like a bin and a half of sweaters, which feels good. But now I feel like I need more, especially yeah. as we like go into fall. I would say our haul leans a bit more towards fall. Yes, it does. Which is fine. Not going to say that. Honestly, I would say like next season shopping is always better than like last season last. shopping. And yeah, 4th of July, absolutely. people always say is like halfway point of summer. So like we're already going to be on the tail end. When you guys are watching Fine. this we're technically in the second half if you go don't by the fourth of july rule don't even say that okay so this is a really cute little home accessory it's this adorable little apron it does have a few there was like one little spot in this orange part down here it's really not that noticeable and i think they did that on purpose like made it this crazy vibrant floral yeah. pattern so you couldn't see it but this is actually an anthropology apron which word to your mother some of these can go for crazy money this one's a little bit more common but look them up especially if they did like the artist collabs the artist collab like pajamas and like the kitchen stuff like the kitchen wearables anthropology crazy. aprons are like a freaking moment oh here it is here's the little spot they're a moment it's really tiny and it does have pockets in it which like, we love an apron with pockets. I can put my spoons in it. I can put my spoons in it. I can put my cookies that I made in my pocket. I can hide jars of flour in my pocket. Okay, this was actually a really nice find. It's a J. Crew Region Blazer, size zero. This is one of the newer ones because they remade this Lord knows how many times at this point. But funny enough, when I was out thrifting, I found one in much worse condition and it was 10 bucks. And this, I pulled off of the dry cleaning hanger and it was like $2. Mm -hmm. Very happy about that. I will say even with the J. Crew Blazers, if they have any, any little bit of like makeup or anything at the neckline on the back if they're cheap enough still people get them. Still love them because they're so like i looked them up they're 230 dollars yes. on the website still like now that what? people are definitely like working in 
place like in actual business buildings now mm -hmm. like they need them again so. i know okay and this is my one little accessory then i'll turn it back over to jack it's this really adorable hawaiian islands vintage screen printed tapestry i love this this is what i used to do in college all the time where you would like hand print all these it's absolutely stunning there's a couple of little marks on it just from like age but how cute would this be if you were like a Hawaiian mm -hmm. and you like hung it on the wall? I think that'd be really beautiful. And I love this little fish, this little like saucy lady. Is it a huma huma nuka nuka apua? That little saucy like lady fish. I think it's an angel fish. Huma huma nuka nuka apua. Either way, yeah. adorable. So my next line is one that'll make Ryan really jealous, even mm -hmm. though, I mean, he's already been jealous because he knows what yes, I Yes, I know what this is. <laughs> so this I'm is a happy about Betsy it. Johnson black label, which is the good label of Betsy, even though I think there's like the punk label, which is even better. That's there's older. Yeah, that's like that's these. like that's like hundreds of dollars. That's like super expensive. Oh, like three, four hundred. But this is a really good label of Betsy as well. This is like older when she was made in the USA. So at first I thought this was just like a black slip dress, but actually it's a little more interesting than that. It's this like asymmetrical it's a handkerchief, hem. handkerchief hem dress, which gives me total, total like witchy core vibes. It's nice and flowy and semi sheer, but it's also lined. So yeah. it's just really, really cute. And of course gonna be great for fall and slip dresses have been so mm -hmm. in lately that that's great. So size medium, I'm gonna list it high, but some of the more interesting or more punk type ones you can list even higher. But still, yes. over a hundred bucks. I sold like the Y2K Paisley Betsy Johnson dresses for like $125. In like a second, yeah. Next up, one of Janet's favorite brands. My lovely mother. It is Jules. I feel like a lot of people don't know Jules, but it's kind of like a slightly cheaper Bowden. It's like an English, well, Bowden is English. Yeah. yeah. Very it's true. Like Draper slightly... James, Bowden, and Jules are all in that like mm -hmm. group. Jules might be the lowest end, Draper James in the middle, and then Bowden kind of at the highest. Bowden I know is expensive, the other two. Yeah. Yeah. So size 10 US, and this is a really, really oh, cute, cute star printed cardigan, like One a woman duster. Got rid of all her good spots. Length cardigan. It's in really good shape too. There's actually not much pilling to it at all, really. Mm -hmm. So I was really excited to find that. Again, Jules doesn't get like the most money, but especially a cuter piece like mm -hmm. this is great. It's a good little bread and butter moment. This is a total Jack would have kept this in college if he found it piece. <laughs> so this is Adidas and Pharrell Williams, which is that collab from like, now it's probably like 2018. 20, it was Gosh. a while ago. And they sold us at Urban Outfitters. They mm -hmm. sold it at ASOS. Like it was sold everywhere. Yeah. So it was all like this tie dye stuff. This is a really, really pretty color. Mm -hmm. I do really like this color. And it all had this like, huh? Oh, what is that? Bag. Helium? I don't know what any of this like, Hydrogen? meant. But this is a men's size small. And yeah, again, in college, I would have been like over the moon. So excited to keep that for myself. This is kind of a like cottage core vintage anthro piece. I wouldn't even call this like Y2K or like 2000s. Like this is probably like some of the first years of anthro. So it's Leaf's daughter. Leaf's daughter. <laughs> it's Leaf's daughter. And she's a size eight. <laughs> I don't understand what these like ribbons are for. Like you tie a bow over your tag. So this is, I would this call this like so a like kind of a cottage though. core, like an intimate cottage core piece, really, is what I would call this almost. Oh, yeah. So it has this like doily detail to the um straps. It doily. also kind of twists back and forth. Do it doily. And if any part around the chest or anything looks yellowy, trust me, it's just that thing where cotton layers on cotton. Mm -hmm. It's not a stain. It's just like layered She cotton. needs a little steam, but that's okay. But look at this freaking label. Oh my gosh. Like this is a thousand and a half years old. It's so old. What's good for the, what's good for the goose? What does that even mean? I What's feel like I'm missing out goose? on some Dutch nonsense fairy tale. What's things. good for the goose? I'm sorry, but what? Also, That's you want me to dry says. clean a cotton top? Girl, what's no. good for the goose? Do you know what's good for the know. goose? I don't know. Who's the goose? Who's Mother Goose? I don't know. But yeah, it has these like straps <laughs> all turn. over that like tie to each other. They were all kinds of twisted and tangled when I found this, but we worked it out. We discussed <laughs> it. We figured our things out. We figured our problems out, which is wonderful. I would do one more and then Ryan can take the stage. This is just Eddie Bauer. This Size medium women's. I think that this is really cute. Yeah. I'm just gonna listen to like 30 and take offers. Yeah. Cause like, I don't expect much for Eddie Bauer, but with how good a shape this was in, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was worth picking up. It so. is cute. 
Okay. So I did pick it up. Next up for me is this adorable handmade batik style Ooh. top. I love this dramatic sleeve and this pattern because this fabric is all handmade, is just beautiful. I love it so much. I put it on our lovely mannequin who's a medium and this looked wonderful on her. It's just so pretty. I just couldn't leave it behind. And I love this like shirred kind of a top detail. Oh, oh sure. Oh sure, <laughs> love it. I did find a fair amount of vintage this trip as well. This is a little Y2K piece, excuse me, that I am very much of a fan of. It's the adorable little Y2K Made in Hawaii, sarong front style little dress. I love this like big chunky print with the little hibiscus flowers on it. So cute, that is a, a medium. And then I found these two wonderful hats. I'm finding all these lovely little accessories. Wow. That are coming out of Talk my little bag. A living Bratz doll. Oh my gosh, these are both so... <laughs> <laughs> I got a secret <laughs> under here. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, but... I like this one. This is, I look like, so, um... Do you know the Muffin Man? Because I do and he's sitting right here. <laughs> I feel like Toad. <laughs> Toad is not just from the movie. This, I think I'm Big just gonna thing. like... This is fun. I like this one. Anyway, this pink one is definitely like a wooler. Oh, Lord have mercy. A wooler A wooler, material. like a, a more wool blend feeling hat. I love... This is a more, this is a this wooler, is a wooler material, hat, as in is it is more not wool. wooler enough. Um, oh. I do love the little like bejeweled logo on it. Oh. I have no idea what brand it's from. Wait a freaking second. Wait a freaking second. Do you know what this is? Wait a freaking second. Is this Telfar? <laughs> yes, it is. Can no. you imagine? This might- Simpson. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is so familiar and this actually might be really expensive. It looks like the Telfar logo. It's a JA. This one's also adorable, this pink like chunkier plaid Y2K one. These do good. And Jack told me to put these on Mercari. I don't know if I have yet, but I think I'm going to, but they are listed on Depop. Ryan's finally cross posting. And I was like, please put Oh my your, gosh, put your I put a hundred things on Mercari the other day. And I've never felt more confident. You're gonna be a Mercari seller soon. Okay, I'm gonna confiscate this and do some Googling. I could be wrong. This might not be a super expensive I brand. No I mean, either way, you're gonna get a pretty penny because it's so Y2K. Do you wanna hear the worst thing in the world? I didn't even bother to Google it. So this could be <sighs> Gucci and I would have no idea. <sighs> Anyway, next is a little- Mother Nature is like- <sighs> She says, Google your stuff. Yeah. This is old. Um, Really adorable little, from my guesstimate and like my Googling, 1960s, little crop top. And you're like, Ryan, why are you buying vintage children's clothes? Funny enough, this is like the 1960s version of Brandy Melville. I put this thing on our size six mannequin, which if you hold this top up to her, she's a little busty. You would be like, there's no way. And it fit her like a glove. She looked wonderful in it. It's this adorable little red chevron top. And she does have, she's got some give to it, which is a wonderful. It is a, a vintage Billy knit size medium. And I Googled this little tag and apparently this company went out of business like end of the 1970s, which I can completely see as we went from like hippie to yuppie. My grandma but it's adorable in the 70s. Oh, I can 100% see that. Sometime I, I, will, like, I will show you proof and do more of a story time, but my I have an old picture of my grandma from the 70s in a Sears Jr. blouse, crop top, People were just color built block. Smaller. And I, I freaking found it on Posh and I bought it and I have it. And I have the picture of her in it and I have it in person. And I will show you guys that someday. It is adorable. We don't have the time today. No, we do not. <laughs> so. No, we do not. Okay, one more little accessory. This is just a cute little like bow. You can untie it and like wear it in your hair or just like I have it tied in a little bow. You could like wear under a cute little 70s moment. That would be fun. A little poochie S. Yeah. This, I couldn't leave it behind. It's hey, oh! Oh my god! I loved this. The Hillwood Gang, Arnold and all his buddies, and then I had this very fun trip down memory lane. Football head. Football head. This fun trip down memory lane where my grandmother about literally lost one of her teeth because we were laughing so hard at the episode where the grandpa has to learn to read to pass the salt. <laughs> funny, funny stuff, man. Okay, and then the last one before I turn it over, Torrid, size 18. Cute. Really adorable little pair of high-waisted paper bag those shorts. Really cute. I, I love these. Those. With the pleats in them and the little like hidden pocket. I think these are very like, ooh, the upscale like family barbecue. <laughs> okay, cute. I'm gonna rapid fire my last ones. And then Ryan's gonna rapid fire his last group. So yes. first up, this is Zara. This is a size small, but it is very oversized. So it could definitely fit even up to like a large. In literally the model picture, she's like 
stretching like she has her arms in it and she's like stretching it out like to show how stretchy it is she's I don't know. It. but this is kelly green the color of like the past three years so freaking cute i'm not a big zara person though everyone and their mother knows that at this point but this is really cute and it's new without tags it's probably a cute blogger photo somewhere yeah floating around then i don't know why everyone skipped this because this was not in a new rotation like people had looked through this been plenty of times and nobody wanted it but this is a sleeveless tuxedo jumpsuit it is Ooh. called in a it's either 100 percent wool or a wool blend i think it's a wool blend it feels like a wool blend. and this is theory Dice can Size theory. eight, a super new theory. This is actually still sold on the theory website for five hundred dollars. Then we have a vintage skirt, perfect for Ooh. fall. But of course, as a like midi skirt, it could be summer as well. This is by the limited size two. I and it's actually, pattern. it does not have any wool in it. Even though I thought it maybe had a titch. There is none. So it feels very nice, comfortable. And it has that split at the front there, as you can see. Yeah, I think that that's really cute. Great spooky season colors. Mm -hmm. Then Ryan threw me these. These oh, are some yeah. Aretha Athletic shorts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Super cute. I'm almost tempted to keep them for myself. Try them on. Nice. Size eight. And these are the Cam Comden printed short. Comden. Super sure. cute. Great shape. Mm -hmm. Then we have a, oh, we have one more thing and then a couple coats. This is my other luxury find. This oh. is the Burberry piece. You guys saw this, but not that great. Oh, and it's made in Great Britain. Nice. Made in Great Britain. Size large men's pink polo. I love this color. And it does have the logo here, which is such a bonus when it comes to Burberry polos because some are just completely plain. Mm -hmm. I think at the front, there's like one really light spot at the front, as you can see. And on the back, there's a slightly darker spot, but it's just at the back. So it's not that big of a deal. But of course, Burberry in the bins, great find. It has the Novacek yeah. like collar. Little well. button plackety thing. Cute. Yeah, so I was pumped to find that, of course. Yeah. Another bin that a bunch of people had went through, including vintage people. And I feel like the vintage people definitely know what the designer stuff is. Yeah, they they're do. all like and they usually tainters. get the <laughs> they usually do get the men's like bougie stuff. Oh, absolutely. So I don't know bougie. why not. This is actually just old navy, size large, but this is a wool blend jacket. Nice. And it does have wool in it. So I was like, okay, I don't know. I really like it. It's really, really, really cute. Mm -hmm. I so like the color. I'm giving it a that shot. Tan. I don't, I've maybe tried Old Navy like once before. This is an evergreen blazer and it is by Banana Republic. I do cute. like me a Banana Republic blazer. Size eight, mm -hmm. really pretty color. Great for businessy people. Businessy and then I have women's. two coats. This is a really nice one. This is Zara, size small. And this is a super freaking nice. And of course, Zara's name for it is literally just the cloth coat. Okay. This is an open, kind of like cream, but really, really light cream. If like you told me this was Eileen Fisher, coat. I really wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's really nice. It has pockets. Mm -hmm. And there might have been like one tiny spot somewhere, but I don't even know where it went because it's so light and small. And my last coat is another Zara coat. And this is an extra small, but very oversized. So you definitely don't have to be an extra small to wear this. No. I haven't listed this one yet. By the time you guys see this, I probably have, but I just need to lint roll this a bit. Kind of like draped from the front. It's hard to hold up. Um, but it's like double breasted gray long coat. Again, super, yeah. super nice. I just could not. Perfect for the upcoming skip. season. Could not skip it at the bins, even though obviously like it weighs a bit, so it was like a little heavier, but like four bucks for a super nice Zara coat, I can yeah. do that. Absolutely. Okay. Speaking of nice, wonderful things, this was one of my nicer finds of the day, and it's Naked Cashmere, mm -hmm. which if you don't know, is kind of like 360 cashmere. It's called cashmere. It's one of those like oh, higher cashmere. end. <laughs> yes, those like higher end, kind of trendier cashmere brands. This is an adorable little cardigan though. I love the stars. I think it's a mix of I know, stars. it's like little Mario stars and then like actual stars. Yeah. It's super cute. Okay, I don't actually know what, it is just 100% cashmere. Okay, good to know. I love this. Oh, it God. has two little pockets on the front and there really isn't a whole lot of pilling on this, especially for cashmere. There's a couple of my cares, which typical. Um, but I was really excited to find this and I got this after 
kind of like the big hubbub of a bin switch out that nobody grabbed. So thank you for that. These I found at the bottom of a bin and I was very happy to find them. Sweaty Betty, the all day little crop. These are really cute. These are a size medium. They're I think monogram. I have these ones, those are size small. Oopsies. They're they are, they're like Sweaty Betty monogram. They're really nice though. Just like a nice little pair of black leggings. And then there's the little Sweaty Betty, Kate Spade looking situation. Seven eighths, I assume. I would love to say so. Seven eighths, 24 inch inseam. I love that it says that. Oh my gosh, that's the best I know. Ever. Okay, I was so tempted to keep this, but I know myself and I know that I would keep it and I would never, ever, ever wear it and I would sell it in six months anyway. It's an Urban Outfitters Ooh. really nice new men's sweater vest. And it's this reverse like argyle print because on the inside, it's just normal, regular argyle. But on the outside, it's this like fun, interesting, interesting. like textured kind of a situation. And it's supposed to be that way because on one of these little doodads, there's the little Urban yeah. Outfitters tag. Men's, it's size large. Good for back to school. That's an urban for the new season. That's an urban I would not sort of ride. No, I know. <laughs> I would sell it myself. That. This is definitely one of the other like nicer things that I found this trip. This is an Alexis piece, and it is not the Alexis for Target. It's this really adorable little like this is very coastal grandma to me. This is very like coastal middle aged woman. Alexis. Yes, adorable little like massive like ruched puff sleeve blouse. There is one teeny itty bitty little spot on one of the white parts, but you can really hardly see it at all, which is nice. Okay, and that is all. That was Anyways, a long one. Yeah, that, that was a was, big one. But I guess the Tuesday video was super short compared to normal, so we'll do. We'll bake we up gave for you guys it. a long one to even yeah. it out. I feel like our watch time of videos for the entire week will be about average because this one was long yes. and the other one was short. So. We will let you guys go for now, but I hope you guys had a wonderful Thursday and have a good rest of your week and a good weekend, but we will yes. see you on Saturday for a regular What's Old Saturday. Yes, we will. Goodbye. Goodbye.